All right, and in this video, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start the fermentation process of grape juice using yeast. So I have, I don't know, about a half a packet of yeast here. Each of it is about seven, and a, seven grams, so divided by two is about three and a half grams. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add that to about 500 mils of this grape juice. Importantly, what we wanna also determine before we add the yeast is what the specific gravity or density is of the grape juice because this is going to matter whenever we actually measure for alcohol content in say for instance about a week where the yeast would have then been able to ferment the natural sugars well and added sugars that are in the grape juice I mean this is store-bought grape juice this isn't fresh per se like off the vine and so this is a hydrometer and it has different levels of markings for specific gravity, as well as for percent alcohol by volume. A good way of trying to figure out where you're at with respect to alcohol volume is first do a baseline run, meaning what is the density of your starting fluid? And so you could use alcohol strips to detect, you know, approximate levels of alcohol, for instance, but here it's Pretty nice to be able to say all right well let's just take a look at where we're at from a specific gravity point of view and then we'll compare that to the specific gravity at a later point and then there's a relationship you can use to determine the percent alcohol by volume or you can probably just measure it with this hydrometer because it is there are uh, you know graduations here but we could take a look and if we're gonna look about where we're at this is approximately 1.62, I'm sorry, 1.062. So we're about 1.062. This was a little chilly. It had been in the, re in the refrigerator, but the density of this is obviously different than water. Water has a specific gravity closer to one at room temperature. So the thing to do is now we know it's about 1.062, okay? It's gonna reside in this greenish area here, okay? The blue represents 40, 50, 60. And then the green again starts to go 70, 80, 90, as it is in the low end here where it was 10 and 20. So we had about 1.062 with respect to the density or specific gravity, we'll call it. Okay, I'm just gonna take that out, pour that back into the cup there, set that off to the side, put that there. in what we'll do we will loosely seal the jar we don't want it super tight it'll make not that it's necessarily bad for but uh, in case there is some kind of accident or whatever we don't want that to, to pop and just go bananas on us with respect to the <laughs> with the pressure buildup because there is some buildup in some of my other YouTube videos I showed the inflation of a balloon by virtue of the liberation of carbon dioxide, which if you see that, and if you have any kind of pressure buildup, that is an indication that fermentation is progressing because concomitant with that CO2 or carbon dioxide evolution is going to be alcohol production. So that's it for now. We have this going to mix. I will continue just to mix it up a little bit, then I'm gonna cap it and we will check back in the future. We'll measure the specific gravity and we'll compare that then to the initial specific gravity, which we just measured, which was about 1.062 approximately. And then we'll figure out what the alcohol content might be. All right, check back later.